Hello guys, so this is like a continuation of several videos which I've been doing about oil change and what is the right time to change the oil in your motorcycle. So uh, in today's, I think we're going to share the different content compared to other days. So this is the same motorcycle I've been using for almost like uh, almost uh, about two, two years, two years and three months at the moment. And it has been doing great. The engine is still in good condition. Gearbox, the tires, I never changed them. They are still in good condition. Though I did some addition, especially for the light. But um, in one of the videos which I did in my YouTube channel, um, I tried to share like um, when is the right time to change the oil in your motorcycle in reference to the oil type which most of us we use. Um, for motorcycles and um, what is subjected to happen in your um, gearbox and engine as well if you exceed the time of changing the oil so in one of the video which I shared in my YouTube channel uh, there was other commentators I mean our other viewers and we had this like argument in the comment section so personally I recommend to change the oil in your motorcycle at about 1,000 kilometers, we say that due to one fact. At that distance, the oil viscosity is subjected to be very thin, which means if you don't change the oil at that time, uh, there is wear and tear of gearbox parts inside this gearbox. And you won't see them by your naked eyes. But I will show you later, once I plug the strainer down here, in the magnet you will see there are some uh, there are some particles which are being worn from the gearbox parts and um, this time when I'm going to change the oil filter by the duration actually I did wrong in my motorcycle because I exceeded the time which was supposed to change the oil filter and the oil as well so I did that purposely so you guys you can see by your naked eyes that uh, how the condition of the oil will be once I change that. So, without wasting your time, guys, let us see how the condition. So, right now here, I just have few stuffs. I have the oil. I have oil filter. I have uh, 8, 18 millimeter spanner, and I have oil catcher, which I just prepared locally. So, let us see how it is. how the oil filter looks like down there and if you can see clear let me try to zoom here you will see there are some particles on top of here 
So around here there is magnet. Whereby the magnet catches all the all the, I mean all the engine particles which are worn from the engine friction. Uh, I'm not so sure if you can clearly see. Let me try to to focus. You will see there are some particles around here. So this is how the all the oil filter looks like. It is super dirty, and uh, this is how the new one which I'm going to replace looks like. And for the oil condition, I can show you guys how the oil looks like. So that's how the oil it is. This is how the changed oil looks like. First oil is very light. It dips so fast, which means the viscosity has has been lost. So this oil is not recommended to keep to be using the motorcycle. But also, if you clearly see on this oil filter, you will see there are some oil particles here which has been trapped by this magnet. 
on the edge here so this is how the condition guys i recommend please if you really love your motorcycle and you want it to last longer change your oil filter oil and oil as well on the appropriate time So you can clearly see how the new oil drips. So by comparison, just look by yourself. So this is the clean oil which I'm going to change right now. And down there, that's the oil which I've just took out of the motorcycle. It is clean. So right now I'm gonna pour this new oil in this motorcycle.
so that is that's how to to pour in your motorcycle and the amount used is just one liter for this motorcycle so if we have different model of the motorcycle remember the amount of the oil is subjected to be different or is subject to change so um, to finalize this video guys please make sure you change your motorcycle engine oil and oil filter as well in time and then make sure you check all other stuff like greasing in the front wheel bearings on the rear wheel bearings make sure you check the brake pads the brake drums make sure everything is in shape make sure everything works great and uh, thanks for watching be safe on the road i hope to see you on the next one